Okay, we come to the second part of the leaching process. This is where the calculation begins. Okay, so uh, as usual, you will have a uh, extraction series of extractor, whereby you do have the L naught, V N plus one, L M, and V one. This is the normal uh, uh, notation that we use for uh, liquid liquid extraction and solid liquid extraction. Okay. Uh, I'll take examples of sugar cane. Okay, normally you will have sugar cane here. Okay, so we have sugar cane. Okay, sugar cane going in as a solid. Okay, as a solid here. Okay, so sugar cane itself contains a solid. In in this case, solid will be the sugar itself, the sugar solution. Okay. Sugar is sugar cane. Okay, we need a solvent to actually extract the sugar from the sugar cane. So normally we will have water here. Okay, so what are the assumptions that you need to make in order for you to proceed with the calculation? First, you need to make sure that all solvent or the solvent that provided here is sufficient enough for you to extract all the sugar okay you need to ensure that the water that being used here is sufficient sufficient enough to extract all the sugar second thing you need to make sure that or you need to make assumption that the solid here is not soluble with the water okay solid the sugar cane itself is not soluble with water otherwise you are making the calculation more complicated okay you need to make sure also there's no assumptions on the uh, surface of the solid okay and likewise the uh, liquid liquid extraction we have a uh, extract layer and refinite layer right so for leaching process we also do have two layers the first part where the sugars come out, the sugars are coming out here. Yeah? This this part we call it as a uh, overflow. Whereby for the bottom part we call it as underflow. Okay. Another assumption that you need need to make. You need to make assumption that the concentration of sugar coming out from here will be the same as the concentration of sugar is going out here. Because we are assuming in each or any operation process, we are assuming that we are having an equilibrium. We are reaching equilibrium at the end of the extraction process. Yeah, When you say that it reaches the equilibrium, the concentration are getting in the same. Okay, that's why you are assuming that the sugar solution coming up from here will be the same as the sugar coming up from here. Another assumption that you need to make as well is the solid here won't go on the top part. Okay, the solid will remain in the underflow section. Only the, sol only the solute and the solvent will be here. But in this part, there will be three things. The solid, the solvent, and the solute. Like, like once you have a uh, sugar cane, air tebu, you still have with the, with the hampas of tebu itself, you actually having uh, sugar, the water, and the uh, residue. So all three of them will be here. Bear in mind, like I said before, the concentration of the sugar here must be the same as the concentration of the sugar here. Okay, when we translate this thing to a graph, you will have a graph like this. Okay, this is an A. Okay, things that you need to know for the calculation. You need to know five different, uh, maybe not five, more than five, uh, equations that you will have. Okay. Like this one, okay, uh, one thing that might be different from the last one that we have, normally L will be coupled with X as a composition, as a fraction, right? But in this case, 
L will be coupled with Y. So here we have Y A naught. Okay. It's vice versa. V will be coupled with X. X A N plus 1. Okay. The same goes to here. We have X1 here. And the same goes to here. We have Y A N here. Okay. X A 1. Things that you must add up here is the solid balance. Okay, you must not forget the solid balance. All this thing will only comply to the one in, uh, uh, in liquid only. Okay, not involving the solid. When you talk about the solid, you have different equation. You will have n. N will be equal to b over l. So here you will have n naught, where whereby B is the solid and L will be the uh, solution. Okay, L will be the total solution. Like L not here, it will be a total for solution for this one. Like say for, uh, if like say only uh, sugar cane is inserted without any other solvent here, it means that your L will be purely on the sugar. Okay. Likewise, for this one, you will have LN. LN will comprise of water and sugar. Okay? For this part, you will have V1. V1 will comprise of water and sugar as well. Okay? For your solvent, okay, if your solvent is pure solvent, so your VN plus 1 will only be a pure solvent whereas if let's say this this one is coming out from different processes where well, it contaminate with other things then v and plus one will be the summation of everything that is in liquid form okay that's why for leaching process you have another two notation n and b okay b is for the amount of solid presence in the system and will be the amount of solid divided by the amount of solution. So, N is equal to B over L. For this part, we have N naught and B naught. For this part, we have the B N and N N. Okay. As I mentioned before, uh, the solid won't go on the overflow. It never going. It actually can be in overflow, but assumption that we need to make the solid is actually not going to the overflow part so b not here will be same as bn here okay so this is a kind of graph that you will have later okay for the y axis you will have n and for the x axis you will have x and y okay normally this will your be this will be your underflow equilibrium data why the underflow is here because in underflow you will have solid n is equal to b over l that's why you will have a data here however for overflow it falls on this line okay this is overflow why because there's none of solid in the overflow so we will expecting that there's none rise in, in this part because n there's none uh, n can be calculated from the overflow because there's no solid on the overflow that's why we don't have anything here okay okay that's all for the second part we are going to move to the third part afterwards on how to do the calculation for the single stage leaching process i will assume that you can read by yourself in the textbook, I will only teach you on how to calculate the uh, multi-stage extraction process. Okay, for that one, we are referring to the examples in the book later. So you can you please turn into the page uh, twelve, uh, page uh, twelve ten one example twelve ten one page eight one five. Okay, so I'll see you later in the third part.